right, so this is crazy. The New York Times just released an article exposing how mega carriers are trapping new drivers and what they reveal is really shocking. Let me explain. I'm sure you all know by now, the trucking industry has a huge problem of keeping drivers happy. Last I checked, the average turnover rate in the trucking industry is over 90%. That means nine out of 10 drivers that join a company will walk out within a year. This is obviously really scary for trucking companies. So obviously what they do is they pay higher wages, they invest in better technology, and they prioritize driver safety, right? I'm sorry, I can't even say that without smiling. No, obviously not. Instead of improving how they operate, it's a lot cheaper for these mega carriers to trap new drivers by using one of the most dangerous tools in the world, hidden contracts. That's right. And the scariest part is 75% of you watching this video right now have signed a hidden contract that you probably didn't even know about and you did it when you received your free CDL training. Let me explain. Mega carriers are always desperate for new drivers because as I mentioned before, nine out of 10 will leave within a year. So how do you find new talent if you're a trucking company? Well, you offer a paid three week training program where you help students get their CDL and guarantee that they'll have a job waiting for them when they pass. You'll pay for their flight, their transportation, their hotel, their meals, and on top of all that, you'll even pay them up to $150 per day just to show up and train. I'm sure all you watching are probably wondering where the problem is because this does sound like an incredible deal, but there's just a little part that I left out. If you join any of these training programs, you're contractually obligated to work for this company for the next 12, 15, and sometimes even 24 months. If you make the mistake of deciding to leave before your contract expires, or if you get fired, you have to pay the trucking company thousands and thousands of dollars for the training you received. And trust me, these companies will come and collect and they will make your life a living nightmare if you don't pay them. And that's not even the worst part. Since these trucking companies know that you're stuck with them for over a year, they have no reason to pay you what you're worth. As I mentioned before, in phase one, you get paid anywhere from $500 to $750 per week just to train and pass your CDL. When you get your CDL, you graduate to phase two of training, which usually involves you and a company trainer riding around the country picking up real loads. Since you're pulling real loads now, you should be making more money, right? Wrong again. <laughs> In phase two, which usually lasts another two weeks, you'll only get paid $450 to $500 per week. At the end of phase two, your trucking company will test your skills to see if you're good enough to drive a truck for them. And to be honest, they're barely even checking. But anyways, when you pass the skill test, you move on to the last and longest phase, which is phase three. In phase three, you get your own truck and trailer, you'll be driving around the country solo, and you'll finally be paid in cents per mile instead of a flat rate. However, what they start you off at is almost a joke. When you enter phase three, you'll probably make somewhere around 37 cents to 40 cents per mile, and you'll probably get a pay raise of one cent per mile every three months or every six months. So let's just add all this up. In phase one, which lasted three weeks, you get paid a total of $1,500 to $2,250. In phase two, which lasts two weeks, you'll get paid a total of $900 to $1,000. So all in all, in just over a month, you got paid anywhere from $2,100 to $3,250. It's not looking too good, but Hey, and phase three is when you actually start making money, right? Well, let's find out. If we assume you average 2,500 miles per week for the rest of the year, and you drive literally every single week, and on top of that, you get a raise of one cent per mile every single quarter, your total in phase three will be a little over $40,000. So all in all, if you somehow manage to average 2,500 miles per week, and drive for every single week out of the year, you'll end up making around $37,000 to $42,000 as your base pay your first year in trucking. Now, if we include any incentive plans, such as bonus for safety or fuel management, 
you could probably make somewhere around $48,000 to $51,000. Now, I can already hear some of you saying, well, hey, I saved thousands of dollars not having to pay for a CDL training. Well, that's true. You did save a few thousand dollars, but you ended up paying for it in tens of thousands of dollars. If you had just gone to a private CDL training school and paid the $6,000 to $8,000, you would have not only received better training, but when you graduate and get your CDL, you would have immediately started making 45 cents to 50 cents per mile. Now, if we compare that to the company sponsored route and we assume you average the same number of miles every single week, you could potentially make anywhere from $58,500 to $65,000 per year. If we include the bonus pay, you would have made anywhere around $71,000 to $74,000 per year. Again, that's only if you drive literally every single week out of the year and you average 2,500 miles per week. Now, even if we subtract $8,000 for the private CDL training that you went through, you still would have made $15,000 more than the company sponsored option. And again, the pay is not the only advantage of a private CDL school. The quality of training you receive, the technology that you use to train on, the workload that you get, it's all much better than the company sponsored route. And best of all, you won't be held hostage by a company for two years. If you're worried about the cost, the upfront cost of $6,000 to $8,000 for the private CDL training school, don't be because there's a lot of financial aid that's available to help cover your fees and tuition. At the end of the day, I'm just not a huge fan of CDL training programs that companies offer. You know, I've met a lot of truckers like the one from the New York Times article who have been screwed over and over again by their company and they were basically held hostage until they did their time. But listen, being a truck driver, it's, it's not all doom and gloom, you know? Everyone's first year in trucking is really hard and they don't generally make a lot of money. But if you're one of the brave few that can make it to year two, you could be making more money than some investment bankers. If you wanna find out how much experienced drivers are making in 2022, make sure you watch this video right here. And if you just wanna know why load rates are crashing right now, I'll explain why in this video right here. With that being said, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.